Good evening, friends. Uh, welcome to Dose to Web. I am going to teach you how to install MySQL on your local machine. Along with that, how to download, how to install, and how to use. Before proceeding the video, I request you all please subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed still. So any new notification you'll be able to get from next time onwards. So I request you to please uh, subscribe, please share with your friends and if you like the video please give a comment. So let's proceed uh, how to do the MySQL installation. So first of all I don't have MySQL on PC so go to the Google and just search download MySQL for Windows if you are using Windows. If you are using MySQL then occur. If you are using Linux operating system, then accordingly you are going to download. So I am using as of now Windows. I will use for MySQL download for Windows. Okay. So just you give enter. You can see that the first link that is MySQL installer. You can click on that. The moment you click, automatically they will pop up to download. You can see this is the latest, latest version of it. It was done. We have, and it is so you have MSI installer for 32 bit. Okay, so you can see here this is the 2.1. So, always I recommend you to go with the installation of the community edition, use the web edition because this will be a web community edition, and this is a normal community edition. So, just click on download, and you have to wait till. Is get downloaded so it's asking you to sign up if you want just sign up it's a free account you just give your email id and register it so once you register you will be able to download and you can use it anytime to log in or download any um, mysql software or any other this is related to your oracle web account so uh, i don't want now as of now already i created so i'll just proceed without that so i'll click no i start download so you can see the download has started so just wait for minutes it depends on your internet speed it will get a speed up so just hold on so you can see that it has got downloaded i'll click on this it will ask to just give okay so it will ask you to proceed click yes So just wait for a few seconds. You can see that the installation. So it's asking to optional MySQL installers installer upgrade available. The one just click. I I will go with the upgraded. So I'll click yes. So now just click on next. So all automatically it will be selected. So you can see here all the product. Okay, so just wait for some time. So automatically this everything will be appear and you can see the version and just click on next. So remember guys, when you while doing the installation, don't do any mistakes. If you do any mistake what will happen you will be not able to reinstall there is a different procedure to reinstall so carefully install it everything i'll click on next you can see that it's ready to upgrade click execute and just wait for a few seconds you can see that everything is getting upgraded As you can see that is a green tick that means it is successfully completed for, for further process now you can see that the everything is successfully completed now i'll click on next so it's ready to configure 
next if you want anything like a skip tab system table upgrade check and process you can skip it otherwise just you want you can click on next so go by default next next and click on execute just wait for another few seconds so it's a sometimes longer time to get configured You can see here it's completed and you click on finish. So it will ask you to configure. So still it is configuration is not completed. Next, click on execute. You can see that now it's completed. You can click on finish. Click next and click on finish. So this is installed. So you can see here it's asking to MySQL server to reconfigure. Click on that. So you have seen that is you have to click on reconfigure, then click on next. Just let it by default next. Give the root password by default. I will list my PC so I'll give it root only. So you can see there and click on check. So it's okay. Then click on next. Let it be by name the instance name MySQL AT. If you want you can change it, but remember whenever you are going to use what is the Windows instance name you have given. It should be useful when you are going to develop any application, web based application with your MySQL. And just click on execute. So you can see here everything is configured. Click on finish. Okay, so as of now, I can close this one. Let's I'll minimize meanwhile. Once done, you just go to your start and type MySQL. You can see here uh, MySQL cell command line. So you are going to use command line as of now. The moment you open, you can see it's asking for the. Let's it. You can see here it's asking about MySQL password. So what password we have given just now? The password we are going to enter. So I have given root. The moment I enter, this is the uh, MySQL login. Now you can start proceeding for the creating database tables, insert the values, and retrieve your query as per your requirements. So next video we'll talk about um, the basic queries and how to execute and. Uh, that's all for today. So even download link I will be sharing in video description. If you have any query, you can give in comment section. And don't forget to subscribe our channel and keep watching our videos. We we'll keep uploading the several different type, types of video on technical basis. That is your educational and even the several in field of the several innovation the technical ideas several things are there so keep watching thank you for joining